In today's cartoon story joke, we meet a mom who got so pampered, her lavish gift went from a chatty parrot to a feather ruffling plot twist. Ever heard about the parrot who became a courtroom star? Yep, forget about those boring witness testimonies. This feathered friend had the jury eating out of its wing. Picture this, a husband gets shot and who's the unexpected hero? None other than Polly the parrot chirping, don't shoot loud and clear in court. Talk about a real tweet turner. But wait, let's rewind a bit. Parrots weren't always cozying up to legal dramas. Back in the day, they were rubbing feathers with emperors and adventurers. The ancient Romans had them on speed dial as pets, while Christopher Columbus probably had a few perched on his ship, giving travel tips on the way to the Americas. Fast forward to the age of exploration, and parrots were the ultimate globetrotters, hitching rides on ships like it was a deluxe cruise. Sure, life at sea wasn't a cakewalk for these colorful chatterboxes, but hey, it beats being stuck in a birdcage, right? Nowadays, parrots are all the rage as pets, but behind those vibrant feathers lies a tale of woe. With millions of them kept in captivity, the parrot world is facing a crisis. From smuggling shenanigans to neglectful pet parenting, these birds are getting the short end of the perch. It's like a real-life soap opera, but with fewer feathers and more drama. So, next time you think about adding a parrot to your household, remember, you might be inviting more than just a talkative friend. It's a tale as old as time. From courtroom heroics to historical escapades, parrots have seen it all. But amidst the laughter and tears, one thing's for sure. Their future hangs in the balance and it's up to us to give them a happily ever after. All right, folks, time to switch gears from serious to seriously hilarious. Put away your textbooks and get ready to dive headfirst into the deep end of laughter. It's joke time, where the punchlines are as golden as chicken nuggets on a Sunday morning. This old lady had four sons. Her husband has passed many years ago, and as it was her 85th birthday, the four sons decided to spoil their mother. However, as each one would like to outdo their sibling with the present that they would get for their mother on her birthday. Fortunately for the old lady, all her sons are very successful in their own way and have done very well for themselves, so they have all the resources to spoil their mother properly. The first son is a master builder, and he decided to build his mother a brand new house with all the amenities that his mother can ever dream about she will be able to live the rest of her life in utmost comfort and never pay for any housing again. The second son is an international film producer, so he builds a small theater for his mother in her new house with comfortable leather seats, the latest in digital projectors, the best sound system as she cannot hear that well anymore, and a library of movies that she will never be able to finish watching for the rest of her life. The third son is a Mercedes-Benz car dealer so he had the finest cabriolet with the most comfortable heated seats in his mother's favorite color, delivered to her new house. The fourth son is a professor at the local university and well known for his literature. Now he knows that his mother eyes are not what the need to be as she battles to read the small letters in her Bible every night. So he traveled the world to find a solution to his mother's problem. In one of the Eastern countries, he happened to meet a monk that have spent his life teaching a parrot to recite the Bible word for word. This was an unbelievable feat as it took 20 years to teach the parrot. You can ask the parrot anything and he will then tell you the chapter of the Bible and the exact words by verse. The parrot has also been taught to speak in a very loud, clear priestly voice which will be well understood for someone of his mother's age. After a lengthy negotiation and an explanation of his mother's condition, he managed to convince the monk to sell him this parrot for a large amount of money. This money, however, had to be paid to a local charity, as money have no value to the monk. An international company specializing in the transportation, quarantine procedures, and on-time delivery of animals were contracted to move the parrot across the globe. So, the parrot was finally delivered to his mother. A couple of weeks later, every son received a handwritten letter from their mother that individually read as followed. 
To the masted builder, she wrote, this house is so large, and as I only use the kitchen and the small room next to the kitchen, the rest of the house is only gathering dust. Thank you, however, for trying to treat me on my birthday. Love your mother. To the film producer, the mother wrote, this theater is big enough to house 100 people, and as most of my friends are already dead, I find it very lonely watching a movie on my own. The leather seats are very comfortable, and I sink into them in comfort. However, getting out of them is a major issue, as my body is not what it used to be. But thank you very much for the present. It was a very nice idea. Love your mother. To the car dealer son, the mother wrote, Thank you so much for the car you gave me for my birthday. It is truly a status symbol. But I am too old to travel to the shops, and I am much more comfortable having my groceries delivered from the shop straight to my front door. It is a very nice car though, and I appreciate the present. Love your mother. To the professor the mother wrote in her letter, you were always such a considerate child and knowing exactly what is needed for someone of my age. You have always been able to find the small things in life to be the most important. Your present I have found to be the most practical of all the presents I have received on my birthday. It might have been small, but the chicken was delicious. <laughs> if you liked our joke, then please watch our next joke by clicking here. <laughs>